Hi and welcome. Here is a quick MailChimp tutorial if you're new to MailChimp, but I want to teach you everything in one video without dividing it up like I usually do. So if you want to watch a full MailChimp tutorial, you can go and watch my full MailChimp tutorial. So you can go and watch that. Here's the link for that. Meanwhile, if you want a quick introduction to MailChimp, how you can do things, this is going to be a good video for you just to get introduced into MailChimp. So the first step is for you to create an account if you don't have an account with MailChimp. I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in. And before I log in, you have to know that MailChimp is free if you have 2,000 subscribers, up to 2,000 subscribers, and that's a lot. You can use MailChimp for free, but as soon as you hit past 2,000, you'd have to at least choose a subscription so that you can send your campaigns to all your subscribers. So let me go ahead and log in. If you don't have an account, just go ahead and create one. It's free. You just need your email and a few details. I've logged into my account and I want you to follow along with me. If you've just signed up, just follow along with me and you'll learn better. So here you can see on the dashboard, you have all this information. If you've sent campaigns, you'll see how your email list is growing. If you sent campaigns, you'll see if there were any clicks. The engagement, I haven't sent any campaigns in a while. So there won't be any engagements for me. But if you do send, I know some people are really into this email marketing thing. So as soon as you have a few subscribers, keep sending them something and you'll be seeing how they interact with your emails here. Like if someone opened some link, you'll see there. Links were clicked there. This will show you the opens. This is how many people opened, what percentage. If you sent to 100 people and 20 people opened, you have an open rate of 20%. So that's what you'll see here on the dashboard. So let's start by links this links that we have over here we have campaigns campaigns are the actual emails that you send out to your subscribers templates these are the actual emails uh the email that you write the template the email that you'll receive that is the template so you can create templates in mailchimp tell your message if you have links that you want people to click you'll put them in the template if you have any videos that you want them maybe to click and go and watch you'll put those in the template and then we have lists a list these are your subscribers these are the emails that you have the details that you have maybe you have a long a long registration form whereby you get the user's email you get their phone number you get all the details that will be stored under lists so you can have different lists you can create as many lists as you want and you must know that if you're on the free mailchimp plan you can only send up to 2000 subscribers so if you have more than 2,000 subscribers, you'll need to upgrade your account so that you can send your emails to your subscribers. And the amount of emails that you send is also limited if you are in the free MailChimp plan. Then we have reports. These are basically metrics for your email account. So if you have new subscribers, all of that is just the same as this these details that we have down here. So those will be the reports. And then automation. Automation will enable you to automate your email delivery. For example, you want to send emails to your subscribers. Every new subscriber, you want to send them an email or maybe you want to send an email every Tuesday at a particular time. You can create an email and just send that automatically without you doing anything. You just set it up and you say every 10 months or every after every six days, send this email and you can do that on automation. So there are different kinds of automations that you can create that will depend on how you want your email automated. For example, if maybe you're selling a course, a video course, and you want it to be sent to your users after every two days, you can create that. You just choose the list, then you choose after every two days, you send a certain class you send a different class, a different lesson. So you can do that using automation. So of course, the most important thing, the first thing that you need to start with in your email is a list. So let's go into list and see 
what we can do here under list or what we can learn under lists. So you can see here I, I already have different lists with different numbers of subscriptions with different numbers of subscribers. So if you want to create a new list, you'll just come here and create a new list. So if I say create list and so you'll give the list a name. Let me say I want to call it new list. New list. And then default email address from. Okay. Then put in your email in there. So let me say vision also shift at Gmail. Of course, they're going to complain about Gmail. You can use your main domain name. For example, for me, it would be bizanosa.com but I don't want to use any of those emails. So default from name, this is a name your users will see. So for me, I'll just use my name, Ricky Wahoa. And then remind people how they signed up to your list. So I can reuse another. Let me just say that. Tell them how they signed up on the, on how they ended up on your list. Of course, MailChimp doesn't want spammers so add your company information right there and notifications choose how you want to receive notifications daily summary this is if people subscribe or unsubscribe you'll be told or it can be done one by one this is whereby every time someone subscribes or every time someone unsubscribes they send you an email but I find that this can be annoying. Even this doesn't work that efficiently. Even if I choose this and someone subscribes today, they're probably not going to send it to me. So once I do all that, I'll say save. There we go. Our new list has been created. So once we have an, a new list, you can add subscribers, right? You can import subscribers. So I'll just click here on import subscribers. So you can import as CSV or a tab delimited text file. You can copy and paste from a file. If you already have a contact somewhere, just control A, come here and copy them. But in most cases, you're going to find that maybe you're migrating from somewhere else. Maybe you're migrating from, what's it called? Get response or you're migrating from some Google email list that you already have. And you want to add them here so you'll just you'll just export them from that other place and then come and import them inside here so you'll choose the csv or the tab delimited text file and then go next so this is what is called a tab delimited text file so a tab delimited text file will have the email or Whichever value you have here, the email, it can be a first name. And then this is a tab spacing. So how you put the tab in between here, you space this using a tab. And then if you want to add anything else on this other end, maybe a second name. Let's say this is a first name and this is a second name on the other end that you want to put. You will just do tab and then put the second name. Second name right there. And you'll do the same for this other part. So you separate it using a tab. This will be one thing. This may be the email. This will be the first name and that will be the second name. So what I will do is if I save this and I go and import this, import this into my MailChimp. So this is what I want to import and I will import that. And if this was a CSV, you just do the same thing, just import the CSV. And the next step is the most important and we're going to look at how to deal with that. Now I understand that my billing plan may automatically be upgraded if my email is more than 2000 subscribers. So this will happen if your email list exceeds the free limit for 2000 subscribers. So I'll just go next. So you can see here, MailChimp is smart enough to know that these were email addresses and it automatically aligns them with the email column. 
Now, for this first name and second name, or whatever field that you had here, you would have to create something for them. You'd have to create a column name for them. So if I edit and I come down here, and if I can use one of the ones which are already available, I can use a first name, just that field, yeah, and then save that, and then to the next one also, for this one, I will choose, let me say, last name. So if it was anything else, and it was not here, you'd create a new column name for it. Just click on new column name and give it a name. So let's say this is the last name, then I will save that, and all columns are now matched. And if your import was a CSV from another place, you just do the same thing. You just decide the title that you want to give it, or you want to use one which is already there in MailChimp. So after doing all this, after matching the fields, I will just click on Next. So here, the last step is Review. You can review and see what you're importing. So three, then you can choose the import. If the contacts you're importing are subscribers, then you'll choose subscribed. If maybe they're unsubscribed, you're taking them from somewhere else and you're bringing them here, you can import them also as unsubscribed or a cleaned list. This is a list that you've just cleaned. People, maybe they never click anything. They never open the emails. So you can choose whichever. In my case, I want them as subscribers. So I'll just choose subscribers and then click import. There we go. All done. Now the next step, let's say we want to send, we want to send an email to our subscribers. And here's the list of our subscribers. If you want to learn more about all this, how, what else you can do here, how you can change all these fields, how you can have merge tags for this, you can watch the full MailChimp tutorial, but this is enough to help you through with MailChimp. So if I wanted to send a campaign to my two subscribers, what I usually do first is at least create a template so that I can use the template for different other scenarios where I may need to send another campaign. So if I come here into templates, templates, I can create a new one. So you can see in my case, I have a few templates here and I can create a new one. Click on create template. So also, if you want to learn all about this, you can check the full MailChimp tutorial. I spoke about each and every one of this. But in this case, the one that you want to create is using themes. So if I say themes, I'll come here into themes. Actually, let me create a basic template which will enable me to start from scratch. So I want one which is just one column. You can choose how many columns that you want in here. So I will choose one column, select full width, this one. Here you can create your template. So let me start by removing this. You just click on it and you can edit it. So let me just remove this because if MailChimp detects that I didn't edit this, the campaign will not go through. So I'll save this and close. So here we have the different elements that you can add in your email. So I can add an image, I can add text, all of this. Let's say that I want to add an image. Let me just browse for an image and I will just choose one. So if I choose one, let me select this one. There we go. And then you can change the content of your email. If I edit, just click there. And then I can edit. Welcome all. And then if you want to change your text, you can change all the text which is within here. You can add links. 
you can see we have this you can use this for adding links if you want to add an image just press there upload your image click here to upload an image or you can just use one of the images which are already there and also if you want to use if you want to use the mailchimp merge tags you can use them for example maybe you want to say first name you want to use the first name here you can see here we have this option for merge tag you can choose the one that you want to have here if your list has a name so you can see you can use the email address uh, it hasn't yet recognized the first name and the last name but you once you save everything it will be able to to recognize the first name and the last name and you can just use those for example if i wanted the email you just come here and click email and this will replace the email of the user and there's also a way to make sure that there's a default for this in your list i did talk about this in one of the last update videos for the mailchimp tutorials i did an update for this one whereby if there is no first name instead of showing the user this you can have a sample you can have something that is shown by default for example welcome dear instead of showing someone this so basically that's it for this template i just save it you can add other elements you know if you want to add a divider just bring that here drop it you know put it somewhere there and there you have your divider then you can save and close if you want to add other elements you can add them if you want to add this image group you can just come drop them there and add them i don't want to add anything here so i will just save and exit my template so let me save and exit and first of all it will ask me to give the template a name and i want to call it new list template then i'll save it now you can add whatever message you want to add into your template so you can see i was just creating a very simple template for demo purposes so the next thing i want to do is to send a campaign so i'll come into campaigns so we have seen how we can add lists and then we can create a template for our account and then let's go to campaigns and send a campaign using this particular template so if i come here all your campaigns will be here you can choose to you can choose to replicate that is to duplicate it so that you can send it again or you can view it rename it or do share it on social media but i want to create a new one so i'll just say create campaign and then campaign name let me call it new list and then campaign type i'll just choose regular campaign and then create and then you choose the list who do you want to send it to i want to send it to new list you can choose other lists if you want to i'll choose new list so once you choose the list you can send to the entire list you can save uh, a segment you can send it to a segment you can create a new segment or a new group so let me say that i want to send it to the entire list so next now let's give the list details this is a campaign name this is the one that will be on mailchimp then you can give it a subject hey welcome this is what the users will see and and you can give it any subject that you want depending on the email that you're sending you can also add smiley faces if you want to add something here so there and then from you can use whichever name you want to use the name that your subscribers will recognize if they know you by a certain name use that name there 
then the email address you can use the email address right there track opens definitely track clicks all these other things these are in the paid mailchimp so if you want to track links using google analytics you can track how they've been clicked you can also track if they went to your website and what they did on your website but that is available for the paid mailchimp option now you can add social media you can connect to twitter you can also opt auto post to facebook if you've already connected yours mine is already connected to facebook so you can connect to facebook and then auto post to facebook after sending then you can personalize the two field you can add the names like here if i click that and then the merge tags you can personalize the two field too so when they receive it will tell them it will input their name using the match tag right there so that's it for this one I will just save I will just go next now in the next section you can choose the template that you want to use or you can create a new one so this is why it is very easy to send a campaign once you already have a template created so you can see since i already have a template i'll just come here into saved templates and i will choose the one that i created this one and then i will select you can create as many templates as you want to and once you do that you can use them for any campaigns and it will make you work very easy when you're sending your campaigns out and then you can see it also gives you the opportunity to re-edit if you have to make any edits to your template you can do that here right now so i don't want to edit anything then i will go next so here is the checkup location whereby if there is any error you will be told that something is amiss and if anything is amiss your campaign is not going to be able to go through you won't be able to send it if there are certain errors here like you can see what we have here social cards you chose not to enable social cards for your campaign so i can choose to edit this but i don't think this is going to affect the sendability of my campaign so i can choose to schedule this campaign and send it later or i can just send it right away let me say i send it right away so to send it i just hit send now There we go, the campaign has been sent. Then I can go back to reports and see how the campaign is performing. So let me say truck. So there's also a mobile app for MailChimp and you can use it to see how things are going on. If you're getting subscribers, if your lists are growing and you can also track some of these analytics on the mobile app. So if I come into reports, you see we have we have all this. It was sent. It has been delivered. And yet we don't have any clicks. So let me go and at least open one and click on something so that we can see if it's going to change the analytics on this reports page. So you can see this is what reports is all about. If you come here into reports, it will enable you to see the report for a particular campaign so for example it was for this one i can check for whichever campaign i want to check for and see how people are interacting with my campaigns so let me go to the phone and just open one and see if it's going to change the analytics on mailchimp so i've opened the campaign on my phone so if i reload this let me see if it's going to change now if I come down here you'll see that let's see oh yeah uh, there's been one open there's been one link that has been clicked none of them has bounced yet then no one has unsubscribed so once you send your emails you can always come here and just check 
to see how people are receiving your campaign. So some cases you'll find that they are unsubscribes and there are certain cases you'll find links have been clicked. Some people won't even bother opening. Some people won't click any link. And then down here, it will tell you the locations of where your top, where your top subscribers are. So anyway, that should be about it for this because you've learned lists, you've learned templates, you've learned campaigns. Now you can, okay, right now you're thinking, how do we share my list so that people can subscribe? Let me go here into lists and just do a quick uh, a quick walkthrough of one one way you can just share your link publicly. So if I come here into lists, I can I can even just click here and we have this option for sign up forms. So if I come and I click on sign up forms for whichever list that I want a sign up form and then there are different forms. We have general forms. We have embedded forms. These are the ones that you put on your website. We have subscriber pop-ups. And then we have form integrations. These are for APIs. But nowadays, I don't use any of these forms because I prefer to use MailMunch. MailMunch is pretty easy to use. I also have a tutorial on that. You can just connect it with your MailChimp account and have the forms on your website. In fact, the pop-ups usually work better than this MailChimp pop-ups. If you want an external link, you'll just come here into general forms, at least a link whereby you can send your subscribers and they just subscribe. So here we have our form and if you scroll down, you'll see this link here. So without editing anything on my form, I can just take this link and if I open it here, you will see that my list is, uh, my form is here and people can subscribe. If I try to subscribe, you'll see that this is a required field and it was not filled. So if you want to remove all these other fields, you can come here and do that. And I'm not going to go through all of them, but if you want to delete a field, just click on it. And you can come on this side click delete and then save. If you want to add a field, you'll just come here, add a field, choose the field that you want to add, click on it and it will be this side and you can drag it how you wish. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know and you can watch more about MailChimp in the MailChimp tutorial which is over three hours, mostly. Okay, it's about two hours, but I did some updates, which got it to three hours on Udemy. You can also find it on Skillshare. So I will see you next time.